The Vatican announced the creation of the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development on 31 August 2016 and it became effective 1 January 2017. Cardinal Peter K. A. Turkson was named its first prefect. The prefect is to be assisted by a secretary and at least on E. Under Secretary. Topic. Description Topic. This dicastery of the Roman Curia combined the work of four pontifical councils established following the Second Vatican Council, justice and peace, pastoral care of migrants and itinerant people, pastoral assistance to health care workers, and cor unum. Pope Francis has given it responsibility for issues regarding migrants, those in need, the sick, the excluded and marginalized, the imprisoned and the unemployed, as well as victims of armed conflict, natural disasters, and all forms of slavery and torture." The Pope announced that, temporarily, he would personally direct the dicastery's work on behalf of migrants and refugees. He named the Canadian Jesuit Michael Cherny and the Italian Scalabrinian Fabio Baggio to serve as under-secretaries for issues related to refugees and migrants. On 16 June 2017 he named Bruno Marie Duffet, a French professor with long experience in human rights and relief work, the dicastery's secretary. <laughs> Mission and activities Topic. From the Statutes of the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development The Dicastery promotes integral human development in the light of the Gospel and in the tradition of the Church's social teachings. To this end, it maintains relations with the conferences of bishops, offering them its cooperation so that values related to justice and peace as well as the care of creation may be promoted. The dicastery also expresses the Holy Father's care for suffering humanity, including the needy, the sick and the excluded, and pays special attention to the needs and issues of those who are forced to flee their homeland, the stateless, the marginalized, victims of armed conflicts and natural disasters, the imprisoned, the unemployed, victims of contemporary forms of slavery and torture, and others whose dignity is endangered. It studies the social teaching of the Church and works to make it widely known and implemented, and so that social, economic and political relations are increasingly imbued with the spirit of the Gospel. It also collects information and research in the areas of justice and peace, the development of peoples, the promotion and defense of human dignity and human rights, such as rights pertaining to work, including that of minors, the phenomenon of migration and the exploitation of migrants, human trafficking and enslavement, imprisonment, torture and capital punishment, disarmament and arms control as well as armed conflicts and their effects on the civilian population and the natural environment humanitarian law. It evaluates these data and informs the episcopal agencies of the conclusions drawn, so that they may intervene directly where appropriate. The dicastery strives to ensure that local churches provide effective and appropriate assistance both material and spiritual, if necessary also by means of suitable pastoral structures, to the sick, refugees, exiles, migrants, the stateless, circus workers, nomads and other itinerant populations. To do so, it encourages and coordinates initiatives of Catholic institutions committed to respecting the dignity of every person and affirming the values of justice and peace, and to helping people in need, especially those institutions that help Help respond to the most pressing needs including disaster relief. In fulfilling its mission, it may establish relationships with associations, institutes and non-governmental organizations, including those outside the Catholic Church, who are committed to promoting justice and peace. It may also enter into discussion with representatives of civil governments and other international public institutions, in order to promote study, deepen knowledge, and public awareness regarding matters within its competence, while respecting the competencies of other offices of the Roman Curia. The Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development is committed to fostering among peoples, sensitivity for peace, commitment to justice and solidarity with those who are most vulnerable such as migrants and refugees, particularly through the celebrations of the World Day of Peace, the World Day of Migrants, the World Day of the Sick. References Topic. External links Topic. Apostolic Letter Humanam Progressionem from the Holy See Official Website 
Statutes of the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development from the Holy See Official Website. Sito Ufficial della Sezione Migranti e Refugiati. Official Twitter account at Vaticanid. YouTube channel Vatican IHD.